Has the virus taken over your iPhone? Are you noticing some strange behavior or are you worried your data is being stolen? Well, in this video, we'll show you the best way to scan your iPhone for viruses and walk you through seven simple and proven steps to remove any virus from your device. So let's get started. So first, let's talk about how to effectively scan your iPhone for viruses. Now, the best way to do this is by using a reliable antivirus app. You might think that any antivirus app you download from the App Store will be sufficient, but it's crucial to choose an app that can perform what's called a deep scan. You see, due to Apple's sandbox restrictions, apps installed directly onto your iPhone can access certain areas of the device where viruses typically hide. As a result, these apps can't perform a full scan and might miss most viruses. So to thoroughly scan your iPhone, what you need to do is use antivirus tools that can connect your phone to a computer to run the scan. This is by far the most effective way to detect viruses on an iPhone because it allows the antivirus software to access the necessary areas of your device. One of the tools that can do this is Certo Anti-Spy, and I'll put a link in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. All you have to do is install the app onto your computer, connect your iPhone using the USB cable, and click scan to check your device for viruses, spyware, keyloggers, tracking apps, and so much more. So now that we know how to scan for viruses, let's go through the seven most effective ways to remove them from your iPhone for good. Now, it might sound simple, but restarting your iPhone is often all it takes to remove a virus. This is because a reboot will disable many system modifications needed by the virus, such as a jailbreak. So just press and hold the side and volume down buttons until you see the power off slider. Slide to power off, wait for a minute, then switch it back on. Keeping your iOS updated can both prevent and remove viruses that exploit known vulnerabilities in older software versions. It's one of the most effective methods of tackling a virus. So to update, go to Settings, tap General, and select Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Okay, so next up, if you spot an app you didn't install, it might be malicious. You see, malicious apps can be a source of viruses collecting your personal data or even taking over your device. So removing these apps can often stop the virus in its tracks. So to remove a suspicious app, long press the app icon, tap remove app, and then confirm by tapping delete app. Some organizations put configuration profiles on their employees' iPhones to set up the device with specific settings or install bespoke apps. However, hackers can also misuse configuration profiles to infect iPhones. These bad profiles can install viruses or even change your device's settings to allow unauthorized access. So to remove, go to Settings, tap General, and scroll to VPN and Device Management. Look for any profiles you don't recognize, tap on them, and then tap Remove Profile. Wi-Fi Sync is built into all iPhones and allows the device to back up to a nearby computer over Wi-Fi. However, some hackers exploit this feature to access your data remotely. So disabling Wi-Fi Sync on your iPhone protects your device from this type of attack. To disable it, Run a scan with Certo Anti-Spy and click Fix. You can also connect your iPhone to a computer, open iTunes or Finder, then untick Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. iPhone's lockdown mode provides extra protection against sophisticated cyber attacks. It turns off certain features of your iPhone that could be used by advanced viruses to gain access to your information. Enabling lockdown mode not only protects your data from incoming attacks, but can also disable viruses that are already installed. So to turn on lockdown mode, go to settings, tap privacy and security, then go ahead and scroll down and tap lockdown mode.
Now, if all else fails, a factory reset will wipe out any viruses. Of course, this is a last resort measure that completely removes viruses by erasing your iPhone and restoring it to its original settings. So before any factory reset, please make sure to back up any important data. To reset your iPhone, go to Settings, tap General, and scroll to Transfer or Reset iPhone. Then tap Erase All Content and Settings, and then follow the instructions. All right, thank you so much for watching and being here, and hopefully this video has given you all the tools and knowledge you need to secure your iPhone from those pesky viruses. If this video helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more practical tips on smartphone security. We'll see you next time and remember, stay secure.